In this video, I will show you how you can make an animated story with ChatGPT and Artflow.ai. First I will create the story with ChatGPT. I will then use Artflow.ai to create the images, animation and voiceover for the story. I open ChatGPT and ask him to create a story for me about a 10-year-old boy who loves to read about the history of the world and thus discovers a magical book that allows him to travel through time. So, in the next 10 days, he travels through time and meets 10 great personalities, such as Leonardo da Vinci, Christopher Columbus, William Shakespeare, Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, Galileo Galilei, Aristotle, Nikola Tesla, Marie Curie and Charles Darwin. In each encounter with these individuals, he learns something about their great achievements. After his time travel adventure ends, he decides to study hard and hard so that he too can be a worthy representative of his time. Once I have the story, I can move on to generating the video. I open Artflow.ai and select Image Studio. The first thing I will do is generate the images. I choose a 3 to 2 aspect ratio format. I will now put here the first paragraph of the story that generated ChatGPT. Below I select Add Style and select an image style. I choose 3D cartoon and finally floor. While the images are being generated, I copy the second paragraph of the story. I paste the second paragraph as well. I really don't like these results, so I choose floor again to generate new images. In the same way, I generate the rest of the images from the story.
Once I have the images, I move on to generating the video by selecting Video Studio. You can make up to 20 scenes in one video. For the first scene I select an image, then select dialog and put the text to it. I also choose the voice to the text. There are many audio options to choose from. You can listen to them before choosing a suitable voice. From effects, I choose the direction of motion of the image in this scene. With that plus here, I move on to the next scene. This is how I arrange the images, text and audio of all the scenes. Once all the scenes are done, I choose export and the animation is done. And now I will show you the result. Once upon a time in the quiet town of Oakville, there lived a curious and imaginative ten-year-old boy named Benjamin. Benjamin had a deep love for books, especially those about the history of the world. He would spend hours immersed in tales of great adventures and remarkable people who had shaped the course of history. One sunny day, as Benjamin was exploring the attic of his old family house, he stumbled upon a dusty, leather-bound book tucked away in a forgotten corner. Intrigued by its ancient appearance, Benjamin opened the book to find blank pages. However, when he ran his fingers across the pages, a burst of warm light surrounded him, and he found himself transported to a different time and place. To his amazement, Benjamin realized that this magical book allowed him to travel through time. Excitement filled his heart as he embarked on a thrilling journey, spanning over ten days, to meet ten extraordinary personalities who had changed the world. On the first day, Benjamin found himself in Renaissance Italy, standing before the brilliant Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo shared his artistic genius and taught Benjamin the importance of embracing curiosity and creativity in all aspects of life. Day two brought Benjamin aboard Christopher Columbus's ship, where he learned about the explorer's determination and courage in discovering new lands, even when faced with uncertainty and doubt. In Elizabethan England, Benjamin met the great playwright William Shakespeare, who inspired him to appreciate the beauty of words and storytelling, reminding him that the pen is indeed mightier than the sword. Day four took Benjamin to Isaac Newton's study, 
where he witnessed the apple fall and learned about the wonders of gravity and the laws of motion. Newton's insatiable thirst for knowledge inspired Benjamin to question the world around him. Next, Benjamin found himself in the presence of the brilliant scientist Albert Einstein, who introduced him to the wonders of relativity and the power of imagination. Einstein taught Benjamin that anything was possible if he could dream it. Day six transported Benjamin to Italy again, but this time he met Galileo Galilei. Galileo's unwavering belief in scientific observation and the pursuit of truth encouraged Benjamin to question established ideas and seek evidence in everything he learned. On day seven, Benjamin travelled back to ancient Greece and met Aristotle, the great philosopher. Aristotle emphasised the importance of critical thinking, logic and the pursuit of knowledge, teaching Benjamin to examine the world with an open and curious mind. Inventor and electrical genius Nikola Tesla greeted Benjamin on day eight, demonstrating the incredible power of electricity. Tesla's boundless imagination and dedication to scientific progress inspired Benjamin to think beyond boundaries and embrace innovation. On day nine, Benjamin met Marie Curie, a pioneering scientist who discovered radium and polonium. Marie's unwavering determination and dedication to her research showed Benjamin the value of persistence and hard work in achieving great things. Finally, on the last day of his time travel adventure, Benjamin found himself in the company of Charles Darwin, the renowned naturalist. Darwin's exploration of the natural world and his theory of evolution taught Benjamin about the interconnectedness of all living things and the importance of pre-self. After his incredible journey through time, Benjamin returned to his own era, filled with newfound knowledge and inspiration. He knew that he had a duty to honour the legacy of those great personalities he had encountered. And so, the story of Benjamin, the time-travelling reader, became a tale that would inspire young minds to dream big, explore their passions, and understand the power of knowledge in shaping the world around them. I can also download the video from here. I think it turned out well. I don't like all the images, but I think if I experiment more, especially with the prompts, I might get better results. This tool is very easy to use and I plan to experiment with it for other applications as well. For example, I'll try to create consistent character images in Midjourney, upload them here, and see how the story will look like or to make shorts for YouTube. Friends, don't miss out on my latest content. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon.